So we're looking at triad exercise 1.1.9. Again, we're adding just uh, another step to the process. When we have something that's inside multiple brackets, we need to deal with the innermost part first and work our way outward. So in this case, we're looking at, on the left-hand side, we want to distribute that negative 2. Uh, and in fact, you might want to go ahead and just change this to a plus negative 2. That way you don't forget to distribute the negative along with the 2. So we'll start on the inside, distributing that 2. We have 6 times 4, and then negative 2 times 7 is negative 14, so minus 14y. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2, so plus 2. We can go ahead and distribute the 8 on the, the right side of the equation. 8 times 13. Well, 8 times 10 is 80. 8 times 3 is 24. 80 plus 24 is 104. Minus 8 times 8 is 64y. Now we'll go ahead and combine like terms on the left-hand side. We end up with 6 times negative 14y. And then 4 plus 2 is 6, so plus 6 equals 104 minus 64y. 6 times negative 14. We can do that the same way that I did the 8 times 13 above. 6 times 10 is 60. 6 times 4 is 24. And then 60 plus 24 is 84. We have to remember this is negative. So negative 84y plus 6 times 6 is 36 equals 104 minus 64y. I'm going to go ahead and, and move the variable to the left-hand side. You could move it to the right-hand side as well, so you end up with a positive, uh, positive coefficient in front of the, the variable term. But I'm going ahead and just I'm going to add 64y to both sides, which is going to give us negative 20y plus 36 equals 104. Then subtract 36 from both sides. We end up with negative 20y equals, and then 104 minus 36 is 68. And then dividing both sides by negative 20, we end up with y equals negative 68 twentieths, which if we simplify, is going to equal negative 17 fifths. And I just divided both of them by, by 4. 17 times 4 is 68, 5 times 4 is 20. So as always, we want to check our solution. This one's going to get a little bit complicated because we're dealing with uh, a fraction here, but the process is essentially the same. We simply substitute into our original equation what we found. So our check, 6 times 4 plus negative 2, or in this case, we can go ahead and we'll just use the minus 2 still. So 4 minus 2 times 7 times, and then we found our y to be negative 17 fifths minus 1. And does that equal 8 times 13 minus 8 times our negative 17 fifths again? So when we simplify this, we just multiply on this side. We still have minus 2 times negative 17 fifths times 7. That's going to end up being negative 119 fifths and again that's still minus one got one of the parentheses or one of the parentheses there that's all being multiplied by the minus two and does that equal eight times thirteen and then we have minus eight times negative seventeen fifths so this is going to end up being plus because a negative times a negative is a positive and that ends up being one hundred thirty six fifths I need this bracket over here as well. So this ends up being 6 times 4 minus 2 times. This is negative 119 fifths minus 1. So another way to write 1 is just 5 fifths. I'm putting this over a common denominator. So negative 119 minus 5 is negative 124 fifths. And again, we want to know, does that equal? And then... 8 times 13, if you, we multiply that by 5, 10 times 5 is 50, 3 times 5 is 15, so that ends up being 65. So this is 65 plus 136 over 5. 
we're getting there. So six times four minus, and we have a, a negative two times, and again, we might want to just change this at this point to a plus negative two. That way we don't forget to multiply by the negative. Negative times a negative is positive, and then negative two times negative 124 is 248 fifths. Does that equal eight times 65 plus 136 is going to be 201 fifths. So this ends up being six times, four times five is 20. So this is gonna be 20 plus 248 over five if I put them over a common denominator. So 268 fifths. And again, we still don't know that we're e that they're equal. We're wanting to check that. So, and then eight times 201 fifths is 1,608 fifths. And then six times 268, that also ends up being 1,600 and eight we're still over five so they do end up being equal and this verifies that y equals negative 17 fifths is the solution to our original equation